Hey everyone, just a quick one on this very cold, snowy Friday, it's the 2nd of March. And the time, if I just look at the clock here, is 10 past 2 p.m. Uh, I just want to update you on Nemo. Um, his blood results have been done, or are back, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I'll start that again. His blood results are back. They're fine. His organs are functioning perfectly fine, so that wasn't the cause of the seizure. Um, in fact, apart from having that seizure and his bad teeth, he's a perfectly healthy cat. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so they're looking at epilepsy. That's the most likely cause he's developing epilepsy. Uh, I mean, for all I know, that may have, probably wasn't, but it may have just been a one-off seizure something something else in the air or something I did that day may have triggered it who knows he may have got his nose onto something that triggered it because apparently things like um, antifreeze can trigger a seizure in cats and I think dogs as well don't hold me to that one um, so yeah he's hunky dory now like nothing ever happened he's playing you and your cat, Trey, or are you in the box? No, he's in the cardboard box again. Um, feeling a little bad because I've got parcels to post, and obviously with the weather, and the fact that the mail lorry hasn't actually been into town for the past three days, um, and the fact the post office has been closed, I haven't been able to post the parcels. And I've got one to go via my Hermes, and I thought, there's no point in me doing that yet, because the main roads are in and out of town, most of them have been blocked, so I can guarantee that my Hermes drivers haven't been working either, for that reason. The only reason they've been blocked is, one, because cars have been getting stuck, and two, snow drifts, because... Uh, this town is basically surrounded by countryside. That's all Norfolk is, really. Countryside villages with a town dotted around here and there. So, the strong easterly winds we've had, it's just been causing snow drifts. It's been blowing the snow off the fields into the roads, and it's just been building up there. And causing a pain in our backsides, with roads being blocked because of that. Um, it is thawing now but we have had a forecast for some more up to about three centimeters in some parts of norfolk uh, i don't know how accurate that's going to be i usually take what the weather forecasts say with a pinch of salt because the weather is always changing and it's not necessarily the forecaster's fault it's just a continuous changing aspect of life i suppose you know Especially the, like the five-day outlook. Because they could look at their radars and think, right, this is going to happen in five days. And then all of a sudden the wind changes and what they predicted has been blown in a different direction. <laughs> so, I, do, I just, I am just one of those that take the weather as it comes. I look out the window and see what it's doing sort of thing. Uh, but uh, that said, I need to just run a couple of errands. I've got a prescription slip to pop in. I'm not expecting that to be done within the 48 hours that they aim for due to the weather. So I want to get that in a bit early. Um, I'll get those packages ready to post but I'll hopefully do that Monday, weather permitting. Uh, I've got that lamp I bought on eBay, but I'm not expecting that to be posted yet because of the weather, so I just <laughs> I didn't want to leave it to buy it when the weather was better. I thought that's an uncommon lamp. It's gonna sell, you know, the weekend's coming up, people are gonna get their wages and whatnot. And I was actually right because I bought one at about one o'clock in the morning when my money went in. And later that day, the last one sold as well, so... Yeah, that was actually pretty quick, I've just realised. There's three left, I bought one, leaving two left, obviously. And then later that day, when I posted about it on one of the collector's groups, 
someone said all of them had been sold and he had to relist them so <laughs> well he cheated because he had some more all he did was change the number he had but the listing is exactly the same which just saves a lot of time when you do that you know if the listings the same the description or if the photos are of the same item because he did say in there because he put a picture of all four lamps up that you had for sale and he did say you will just get a random one from the picture but it will be one pictured <clears throat> I just hope you know some people didn't buy them thinking they were getting all four that would be a friggin bargain at that price it was a good price for 15.99 but anyway I'm rambling a bit I want to be this I wanted this to be short and sweet uh I'm going to do some um, computer related videos, I've got some of them planned, I've got some dismantling videos planned. Um, the computer videos, I've got five Windows XP machines and I just thought for shits and giggles as I've got all those bloody PC games in there I was going to pick, I don't know, a handful at random. Well, I'll check the specs to see if they will run on any of these machines. But I was going to see how well each machine would run each game. And uh, if they actually run them at all. And there's someone on the roof over there clearing snow. <laughs> she uh, works in the cafe that's below that roof. Because all of this is actually extension. There's the original old building, two flats, I think they're two different flats, and then you've got the shop right at the bottom, and this is all an extension onto the calf, all of this. And uh, she, on top there's the manageress who's uh, clearing snow. Not that there's a lot on there. There's fresh footprints over here from a human. They weren't there this morning. But, uh, we are thawing, which is actually a good thing. Snow is great for the kids, not so great when you're an adult and you've got, you know, things to do. Like groceries, getting to important jobs, like uh, if you're a nurse or a doctor or surgeon, paramedic, etc. Fireman, policeman, police officer I should say. Firefighter, if I'm going to be, I should be politically correct these days. <clears throat> no doubt someone would pick up on that if I didn't correct myself. You, you're being sexist. You said fireman. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, so I've got some videos planned. So I'm going to charge this camera, and I may. I think I need to have a clean up in this flat first because I've got crap laying everywhere. So whenever that's done, I doubt I'll be going over to Mum's this weekend, so I'll probably have the full weekend here. So whenever that's done, I'm going to get cracking with these other videos. But I don't think I'll do all five PCs in one video. I think I'll just do a video on each one separately. Otherwise it'll be too long. Even if I edit it down, it's going to be too long. Yeah, so I'm going to end this quick update here. I don't know how quick it's been, but hopefully less than 15 minutes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Nemo's doing fine. I'm fine. Weather, not so fine. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.